history is often made accidentally. Let's start back in the 4th century. In the year 366 AD, a monk called Lei Tsun was traveling from central China to Dunhuang, and at dusk he was resting by the side of the river at the bottom of the Singing Sand Mountain. All of a sudden, he had a vision of golden lights coming from the mountain in front of him. He could see thousands of Buddhas appearing among the lights. Lei Tsun believed that this was a call from Buddha to tell him that here was a place for meditation and the cultivation of thought. So monk Lei Tsun dug a cave at the Singing Sand Mountain and started his meditation process there. For the next 1,000 years, the Dunhuang Mogao Caves were developed into a large-scale site for worship and pilgrimage. Listen and subscribe to the Why We Love Dunhuang podcast for free on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms. Why We Love Dunhuang? You will have your answers.